you. Pew, pew. Yes, ah. I will. So, so, so wait, you're the bug, aka Greg, is taunting Brad, Brad, as a home inspector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you recommend you get rid of me, Brad? Where's my spray? Where's my spray? Hey, Kelly, give me my spray. Oh, wait, 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 wait. These, Brad's this like is... in a Brad's like in a cabin in the in the hills or something. Oh, wait, Brad, watch out for these guys, <laughs> the murder hornets. Ooh. So, uh, Brad, just go back to your seven your flight uh, in my flight. my my my, uh, my yeah. flight plan with my. Uh, and for those of you who are watching. Really... There you go. Brad's actually lean back because it looked like you were. Really... Uh, hang on a second. Let me. Brad is actually <laughs> in a plane flying to Milwaukee. The Milwaukee is a great $19 ticket, first class seat. So not bad <laughs> at all. For those of you who are tuning in to watch the replay, this is the pre show banter. And Greg, explain what you're using as you've you got your little Yoda. What are you Yoda. talking about? What am I using? What, what are you talking about? Baby Yoda. This? This Kelly, guy? you're really low. Uh, your vo volume's low. Okay. Oh, that's better. Okay. You want to hold it up the whole time? I think it's the hair. Is the hair muffler? <laughs> no, it's really low, girl. Okay, still. Hmm. I don't know yeah. what the deal. Check your audio levels, or are you on a computer or are you on a phone? I'm on the computer, but I'm on the headset because it sounded better. Yeah, it it does sound better, but I'm just worried about your audio level. You could always hold your headset up to your mouth. I can do that. that. Is that better? Yeah, that actually is better. Okay. It's just low. I can always. In post, I can um, I can uh, compress it and expand it so that it'll work. Now, what are you a Cheeto chip? Baby cheese curl. Oh. All right, let's not get into this for the show. All right, are we all ready? Are we ready to go, you guys? I know Chuck is waiting right. with bated breath. Like I can read him. <laughs> He's got chocolate cake waiting again, probably. <laughs> yeah, you got any exciting. cake tonight, Chuck? Any cake? You no cake good, tonight. Brad. Now you're in like the mountains. There's a. Well, uh, I got the forest behind me, but the surfboards are there because the ocean's in front of me. It's just my happy place right now. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I see it in your eyes. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, we found a New Jersey water yeah, ice place the... out. In, um, I have to ask Casey. I got to find out where it's from. I'll text her while we're doing this. But it's we just had it tonight. It, it's legit. Really? Like Italian water ice. They sell it in pints, and you can go pick it up. I'll, where? I'll get this information. It's it's here in Louisville. Oh, you got to uh, let me know. Yeah. yeah. Send it to out to the too. team. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. so. Miss Rita's. So Greg was using, uh, what was it called, Greg, That for anybody uh, that's tuning in? Nah, what is it? Snap, snap camera cam snap yeah. camera do a google search That's snap nice. camera it works perfectly with pcs their instructions are on for max there seems to be a problem with the most recent version of snap camera for max so we're still playing around with that. all right so that gives us everybody ready everybody ready to go all right yes sir hey. hang on i'm gonna close my door because i can hear the dogs barking hold on <laughs> Lee, are the cats close by? Yes. You want to see them? Okay. Uh, on the condo? Right, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yep. There's the cats uh, on the condo. <laughs> and the I'm cats sorry, on the condo. In the All right, Kelly Eumann. All right, Lee. Yes, sir. All right. Steve, stand by. Everybody stand by. We're coming to you here in just a moment in three, two, one. News Radio 840 WHAS. Good Sunday morning. Bob Sekolder, the Louisville Real Estate Show with you as we come to you from our homes once again as this pandemic continues. But it does seem like we've got light at the end of the tunnel getting better and better. At least we hope that we're not going to see a W instead of a U or a V or, as Greg, my son says, a swish, a Nike swish. Here with us, joining us, Chuck Crosby, the Crosby Law Offices. You can reach him for closings at 499-6360. Also, Lee Harris, legal counsel at Limestone Title, 649-7964. In for Kevin Disser, Kelly Human, who met, makes a great appearance in lieu of Kevin. Not that anything's wrong with Kevin, but you're a lot nicer to look at on, on a Sunday morning. Just to let you know, not to be sexist, but it, it just is a plus. 895-9900. And I should say that about Lee as well, but Lee's here with us every week. Also, Brad Lawler, owner of Home Team Inspection Service, the Hire Vets, the number one home team inspection service in the country. And you can reach them for home inspections at 357-0813. And uh, in for Randy Rocky over at Swan Financial is Steve Phillips, who's a loan officer over there at 439-2859. Finally, my son, Greg, who does a great job with our marketing and uh, video and production and you name it. And I am very proud of him, Greg. Thank you. Thank you all for being here this morning. 
that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I should tell you a little later on the show, 15 things you do not want in your house during a pandemic. We've kind of turned this into a, uh, an audit of real estate uh, <laughs> during this pandemic and how, is, how are things going. There's actually some uh, really good news. Did anyone see the report that came out on Wednesday with regards to um, the increase in mortgage applications? Steve, you may be able to speak to this from Swan Financial. This came out on CNBC, which is unusual for them to be proactive and promoting positive for the mortgage industry and real estate. I just seem to think that they're sometimes they're kind of all over the board. But they said there's a couple of things that have happened, and that um, the purchase volume was up 15. Per, it was purchase volume was just 1.5 percent lower than a year ago. A rather stunning recovery from just a month ago when the volume was down 35%. So again, it's down, the volume was just 1.5% lower than a year ago. Also, mortgage applications to purchase a home rose 6% last week from the previous week, according to Mortgage Bankers Association. That's nationally for local. We go back to Steve Phillips. What's the latest on the local scene for uh, mortgage applications? And how are you thinking we're moving along here? Well, yeah, the mortgage applications are, are coming in strong. As you said, uh, you know, a, a dramatic change from last month to this month in regards to uh, previous year terms. So uh, there's certainly a big, a big demand uh, for purchases. Um, we went up 6% from the prior week, and it just looks like we're going to continue. The rates themselves are doing great right now, and it looks like they're going to continue to do this. Um, for the for probably at least another year throughout the rest of 21. Did I see that? Did I see that jumbo loans came back down as well? Because I know a lot of people were on the fence with those, and because those inflated quite high there for a minute. Yeah, jumbos are. I don't think they've really come back around to the point of of what they were what prior. They were, so yeah. we're still waiting on that to happen. The market's really slow in opening up some of these things, um, but we are starting to see it happening slowly. Uh, luckily, so we've been waiting on it for a while since. Basically, we, February. We yeah. had heard that there were some rates as low as 2.5% for people with good credit. Are you seeing that, Steve? I've, I have got some locked in at 2.75. Uh, I've not went down to 2. I, they do have the rates. I shouldn't. They, the rates are available. It's just as you go lower on these rates, you're going to start paying more in discount points. And that's where it becomes a little tricky. But the rates are out there. There is two and a half. They do have them on the uh, rate sheet. So, um, Hopefully, we'll see the market continue to improve a little bit more as, as uh, the Fed's ramping up their uh, mortgage-backed security program. That's going to be a big quiver in their arrow, so, uh, or a big arrow in their quiver, I should say. Yeah. So off of that, um, when that still continues to ramp up, as they, they've already bought half a trillion just since March. But uh, as it continues to ramp up, hopefully, we'll see our rates uh, and pricing continue to improve. So that's great news. And the reason not only is that for any potential buyers or people who are selling, who are going to buy, but on top of that, I'm hearing background noise coming from something in my studio here at home. Okay. Ignore that. But anyways, <laughs> it's great news for buyers and sellers. It's also great news for down the road. The next step in the process, once they make applications, buyers, uh, they go to a home inspection. Brad, how are, what are the results for you at this point? I hear somebody so, knocking. Has anybody yeah. got knocking going on in their house? No, it's early in the morning to have knocking, but go ahead. What do yeah. you know? So it was an interesting week last week. Every inspection slot sold out. Uh, and last Monday, we booked 26 inspections in one day, which Whoa. is pretty wow. phenomenal volume. Um, of course, we always have some pent up demand on Monday mornings with orders coming in on Sunday, but really explosive uh, increases last week. And then, of course, coming out of this Memorial Day weekend, uh, we've got already a lot of slots fill, filled up for, uh, for this coming week. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday already. So it's, it, I mean, it looks like the market is uh, definitely back for the home inspectors out there. So folks, just to tell you, if you're hearing naysayers or people saying, ah, oh, there's a problem with real estate, we're here to tell you, you're, you're listening to some of the top people in the industry here in the Louisville and Southern Indiana area. And you're going to be hearing through this show, the positives that are coming back uh, at this point. By the way, if you want to watch a rebroadcast of this show, Go to LouisvilleAnswers.com. That is LouisvilleAnswers.com. 
And that will take you to our YouTube channel where this will be waiting for you. And I should tell you, there's some witty banter both before and after the show. And Greg is revealing a very interesting little uh, tool he's using uh, for Zoom that will entertain your family and friends if you use Zoom. And it's a free add-on. So just keep an eye on, out for that. And if you want to see, by the way, what people are saying about us, go to LouisvilleSellersTalk.com or read about us at LouisvilleZillow.com. All right, so we move forward from inspections, and now we're going into the attorneys, the closing attorneys. Let us start with Chuck Crosby, who is with the Crosby Law Offices. What's this past week been like for you, Chuck? Crazy. Uh, we are just packed. Uh, very rarely do I ever have to tell someone that we just don't have any more slots open in a day, and it's getting to be that way. So what do you attribute that to? Is that because of bounce back or more cause refis that are coming through? What do you I don't do? know. It, uh, there's a lot of refis. Uh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. There's a ton of them. And I'm told that the lenders are just absolutely overwhelmed. Uh, but we've got, I'd say, at least two thirds are sales. Wow. So that's a very impressive number to hear. Yeah. That. I mean, 66. seeing the sales... Wow. I, I had thought we were going to have to get by on refis, but uh, I'm getting a bunch of sales. Let's go to Lee Harris over at Limestone. Same thing for you. And how's the drive through closing? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want, if you want the Royal treatment, let me tell you, we've got a, one of those tents out in the parking lot, you know, like you see at a wedding with the windows and the whole nine yards. <laughs> it's been raining all week, but you know, you get the Royal treatment. You get to sit in a tent and uh, there's no band and there's no buffet, but it's almost like being at a wedding reception. So, uh, Lee, so, the, yeah. the, the reason you have a tent is so that people are out of the sun and rain when you're doing the closings. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so if they don't want to come in, some people don't want to come in. Uh, so it's kind of like a quote unquote drive through closing. They can stay outside. Just one person comes out with gloves and a mask and does the closing for them. And they stay out there. No one else is in there. Mm -hmm. And then we take the documents in and file them. Some people want to come in, which is fine too, because we've got all the barriers and all the cleansers and everything inside as well. And then some people don't want to come over at all. So we go to their place uh, and do it through the door. So got it. Yeah, all the options are available. And yes, it's been very, very busy. Kelly Human, Pitt and Frank, how's, how was this past week for uh, you folks? Yeah, it was nice and busy. Um, yeah. Hold that microphone up because you're low for some reason in the Sorry. audio. Yeah. I, I, I forgot I had it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. The, bringing up the caboose here with the low mic. It's, it's okay. <laughs> mornings, I guess. We'll get through it. So it was pretty good. Um, yeah, schedule's still really full. Lots of, I would say, impressive amount of um, sales, uh, purchases, as, as Chuck was saying. You know, we thought, um, we anticipated the increase in refis, which is wonderful. But I think that really people, buyers are um, feeling supported and everything's stabilized so that they're, you know, more and more people are thinking about buying are actually pulling the trigger. And I, and I was curious to know about the jumbos as well, Greg, because I think the different price points and the different, you know, real estate um, ranges move differently, you know, and I, and we're still seeing some nice low rates, even with the, you know, the property values, you know, purchase prices being at quite a good range. So it's, it's been very busy, very full, but lots of variety, lots of purchases, lots of refis, lots of different price points. So we're seeing from our standpoint at our office with our team, if a home is priced somewhere between 100 and say 350,000, they're flying off the market in a matter yeah, of but hours. They're even, listen, yeah. this, this, this is a story. Um, another fellow great realtor, I give him a shout out. He's awesome. John Mann, he's with uh, a competitor. He's with Sotheby's, but he, he, they had, a, I think it was like an $800,000 price, price point home that had a pool. Now this is interesting. They had, I think 17 showings. And I think like 10 offers over asking. Yeah. Um, and this is a, an indicative sign. Like we, we put our house on the market. It was, it was in a higher price point. We had an offer come in very strong with other offers coming in on the table. Our neighborhood in Norton Commons is blowing up. Well, yeah. Builder just bought seven lots. Wow. I think like 25 homes just blew up in the past two months. I mean, the, the, what we're seeing here in the market is, is such a high demand and such a high buyer pool. Um, we are seeing a shift in the style of home. So there's, there's some statistics to look in there too, where Kelly was saying there's a, a lot of different cool, interesting statistics, but the overall note is we're doing, the industry is doing very well and you can hear it. And we've seen a little slowdown and we're, we're seeing a, a, a quick jump back for us, for our industry, maybe. Yep. 
So I should tell you that on a regular basis, depending on the day, I will now either go out and do a pre-listing appointment with sellers. So what we do is I walk through the house, but I'm wearing gloves and I'm wearing a mask. We go through and then once we're done, we sit down at either ends of the table. I take the mask and gloves off and then we look at my computer. Uh, but uh, more often than not these days, I'm doing Zoom meetings where we are talking. And this is actually a great format that this is, who knew Zoom would be this popular and this important? So what would happen is mostly uh, the sellers will uh, look, talk to me on their cell phone. And then if we want, we will walk around the, um, the house and they'll be showing the house to me. And we're talking about tips on listing and then selling it. I was interviewed this past week by a couple who have a new construction house in Crescent Hill. And if you're listening to me, I'm just telling you, I'm up against other agents. So I'm just telling you, the power of radio is incredible. This house that this gentleman built is spectacular. New construction, Crescent Hill, in the seven to $800,000 price range. But I'm telling you, this. If I'm hoping we get this listing. I don't know that we will. But all I'm saying is this is one to look for, even if we don't. We'll try to get you some information down the road once it's on the market. Because if you're looking for something new, which is rare in Crescent Hill, this one rare. fits all the bells and whistles. And which brings me back to where I was going, Steve. So we talked about... Um, mortgage rates and the higher priced ones, uh, where is the point now where, I keep hearing that banging. I don't know who is banging. I'm hear, having it? a deck put on. Oh, is that what it is? You're having a deck put on? This early in the morning. Okay, so the, oh. they're gonna love you. Okay. Yeah, so, no. Yeah, so the jumbo starts where, Steve? At what point is there a jumbo? And what's the rate? Five. 510 uh, loan amounts 510 and above are going to be considered in the jumbo category got it so um we did have a couple our lender that had uh what they called a high balance uh conforming program product yeah. that did allow us to go up to 750 but that got taken away along with some a lot of the other programs uh just more recently since uh, the con uh, restrictions and the constraints have come in so we're looking for that to open up but presently as of right now anything above 510 is going to be considered jumbo so let's go around the horn here so greg your house sold for above 510 I'm just, and it depends of course how much you're putting down but for you brad let's start over there for the the homes that you're doing and inspecting are you seeing above 510 for the most part or below 510 using that as the mark I see a lot of different ranges all the way down to 27,000, which we did for one of your team members not too long ago, uh -huh. but we're seeing them up over a million, but our, our transaction price has gone up this year, which tells us that we're inspecting larger homes. So there's a lot more homes in that $550,000 plus range. Unbelievable. Kelly, you know, on your closings, are you seeing more of the higher end above 510 or below? Well, definitely more recently. We had, you know, we, we see a lot of that just on a regular basis with COVID coming in and, you know, the dynamic changing and the rates moving around quite a bit. I think that that stalled a little bit in that, um, well, in all the price points, really, to be yeah. fair, yeah. you know, and, and now we're seeing everybody moving a little bit more. Um, if, if I'm being honest, I think that that price point, we've, we've always see a little bit of that. I mean, even in, when it was slow, we still you know, would see probably the standard percentage of, um, you know, higher price point, medium, and we'll say, you know, lower price point um, numbers wise. I, I would say it's still just steady. Okay. Got Chuck some Cross. really interesting stats real quick, Bob. I just yeah, pulled them ahead. real quick. Yeah. So I was looking, everyone was talking about average price. And I was like, mm, I'm interested in what our average price point for year to date is for our own company. Let me guess. Uh, last year, 2019, we closed out. Uh, the average price point was 257600 oh. was our average price point. Now, do we get as, to guess for 2020? Yeah, Are let's guess for 2020. As of this, Hold as of so let's, today. Let's all guess. I'm saying. Price is right I'm, rules or what? Like, yeah, do I go with the right dollar? I'm, okay. I'm going to say yeah. 400 since he's building it up this way. What are you going to say? Ooh, that's a big one. It is a big one. That's a big jump. That would be a 50000 <laughs> That would be a $150,000 <laughs> almost jump. I'm going to. I'm not. Well, I'm 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 not, yeah, let's do prices right rules. I'm not okay. going 400. Okay, so what are we doing? Yell them out. So I'm going up eight and a half percent. So I've got you at about 295. <laughs> okay. Okay. I say 230. Okay. I was 230. Say 225. Oh, and I got three. So you're at three. Like at 240. At 240. 240. 240. Chuck said three. 
Bob All right. should have gotten the automatic ant because he was the only one that was over. Chuck is the closest. It's 304,700. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there we go. Wow. That's awesome. it. Well, listen, listen. I, I track numbers year over year, especially for what's going on. A $50,000 price point, a $50,000 increase in average. We're talking yeah. about an, an that's, average. That's pretty impressive. That's, yeah, that's a big number. Especially what that, what that means is, conditions. and but and right, Kel. But also that means that there are buyers out there who are looking to upgrade or increase the size of their home, and we're seeing that. And we're just an average. We have twenty agents. We sold four hundred or so yeah. homes last year. Yeah, so we did. We did yeah. just around. Uh, I want to say like ninety million in overall volume last yeah. year. A little over that. So it's up. Settled. Right now we're at we're at thirty five million in volume. So All right. I mean. Yeah, you know, we're getting there. We're, we're, we're slower, halfway through obviously, here. this year, but it's the numbers are helping with uh, average home hold, sale price. Hold your thoughts, folks. We've got to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about some of the things you don't want to put or have in your home during the pandemic. Also, if you want to see a rebroadcast of our show, LouisvilleAnswers.com is the place to go. It will redirect you to our YouTube channel. Again, LouisvilleAnswers.com. And if you want to see what people are saying about us, go to LouisvilleZillow.com. Those are our reviews. Or head to LouisvilleSellersTalk.com to hear what people are saying. You're listening to the Louisville Real Estate Show coming to us from their homes We've got Kelly Human in for Kevin Disler over at Pitt and Frank Attorneys at 895-9900. Also, we've got Lee Harris, Legal Counsel, Limestone Title, 649-7964. And Chuck Crosby, the Crosby Law Offices at 499-6360. Uh, we've got Brad Lawler, owner of Home Team Inspection Service, joining us from his house at 357-0813. Steve Phillips over at Swan Financial is in for Randy Rocky at 439-2859. And then my son, Greg, with all of the work that he does for photography, marketing, and so much more. And I'm Bob Sekoler. You can reach me anytime at 376-5483. Back in a moment on News Radio 840 WHAS. News Radio 840 WHAS, the Louisville Real Estate Show. Hope you're having a good Sunday morning. Bob Sekoler here along with our radio team, each of us coming from our homes as the pandemic continues. Here with us, a quick round here of... Brad Lawler, owner of Home Team Inspection Service, 357-0813. Steve Phillips over at Swan Financial, 439-2859. Also, Chuck Crosby, the Crosby Law Offices, 499-6360. Lee Harris, Legal Counsel, Limestone, uh, 649-7964. And my son, Greg, who does our marketing. And, of course, you can always reach me, Bob Sekulder, 376-5483. Okay. We held, we stopped at basically the numbers have increased dramatically. Anybody want to finish that? Is there anything else that we need to say about that you guys want to talk about? Or are we ready to move on? I'm Do still here too, side. Bob. I'm oh, so Kelly, I thought I hit but you. Hey, I'm sorry. No, it's Kelly, okay. Human, Kelly Human in for Kevin Dissler <laughs> with Pitt and Frank Attorneys. Now, that was perfectly uh, fine. Kelly no, Human, no worries. I just wanted to, you know. Let ask, me give you your number, 895 okay. okay, now go ahead. I just wanted to say, I'm curious to know whether people are buying houses with bigger lots, you know, considering that some of the features mm. are changing square footage of the house, maybe a little bit bigger, bigger, different neighborhoods, different lots, you know, features wise, I know swimming pools and all that is kind of really prevalent right now because of the conditions, you know, the current Staying conditions home. of the pandemic. Uh, yeah. Hunkering down, so to speak. Absolutely. So I think there's a trend for not only bigger homes, for multi-families that might possibly want to live with you, sons, daughters, grandparents, things like that. But I think pools are hot, and especially this time of year, if you have a pool that, with your house that you're going to sell, people will beat a path. Even though only typically 10% of buyers are looking for pools, those 10% know it's a hot commodity and they will come to your door. And if it's, and if it's a hot house and hot floor plan, we know specifically that one I mentioned earlier, the builder in particular, had had four requests to build that same floor plan over again. So it was, it was, wow. you know, a combination of certain things, but you get the right house at the right price right now. All right, let's move on. 15 things you don't want in your house during a pandemic. Anywhere you guys want to jump in on this. Can I guess what the first one is? Go right ahead. Children. Oh, oh. I was going to say <laughs> multiple <Yeah>. children. Yeah. <laughs> You read my mind, Lee. Yeah, it's it's, it's a tough scene. No, let me let me tell you. I what was going to say chocolate cake, but uh, you, know. you took care of that us, problem. Yeah, if you were with yeah, us that's last, why. Week, last week. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. So, coins for one. If just just think about this, you're collecting coins. If someone's giving you change somewhere, 
who the heck knows what is on those coins. So you want to leave those puppies away, keep them out. Also, your cell phone, think about this. You touch a door going into a, a, even a supermarket. It could be anywhere or, or a, um, a cart. And then you touch your cell phone. Now whatever was on the cart, it, uh, the handle is now on your cell phone. So these are things you obviously want to try to either avoid, not with your phone. You want to make sure you clean it. Phone Keep, soap. Yeah, oh, right. Or sanitizer, whatever it might be. Keep, oh, no, that, that, in, that, that ultraviolet light thing that I got you for your birthday. Yeah, you did. I appreciate yeah. it. I use it every night. Yeah. Oh, your little headset? Yeah, you're right. There, Kelly's using a, an iPhone headset, which you want to make sure you clean. But keys are another big problem. Think about that. Because you're holding your keys, you're touching surfaces, then you're putting it back. So remember to do that. If you have rented gym, gym equipment or when you go back to the gym, I think that's going to be a, a concern. You're swapping out with someone who might be or may not be. Um, CDC has got a lot of things. Um, grocery store flyers, which remember how they used to hand those uh, out and you would look to see what the deals are, specials, coupons. Who knows what's on, on those the microbes and a variety of other things. When the restaurants are open now, restaurant menus, which they now said they're going to be disposable. So let's hope that that's good. good. Yeah. Because no one wants to be touching a restaurant menu that someone else has touched. Greeting cards. Another thing that may be passe oh, yeah, now, right? Where, you know, you go into a store, you want to find the right perfect card. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Yeah, that may be a problem. Um, also, your credit card. Think about this. When you go to pay something, now, if you go to like Costco or some of the other stores, you take your credit card. If they've got the chip, you put it on this reader, right? Who knows what's on the reader that's now transferred to your credit card? Well, a lot of that's going to go now to uh, two-step authentication with your phone and all that contactless payment. That's going to be really a step forward to help stop. I, I agree with that. At CVS, they make you stand six feet back, and then they make you walk up and put your card in the reader and touch everything. See, that's so the like, problem. You're right. <laughs> Putting it at in, Lowe's, the, in they the, do the same thing. Yeah. I love going to Whole Foods when I used to because I would just take my phone, double put the side button, look in the camera, and hover. Bing. Don't have to touch anything, and I'm on my way. But how many I of have, us? Yeah, go ahead, Kel. Oh, I was just gonna say every time I use that card too, I just keep it in my hand when I do the sanitizer. Do the whole, yeah. you oh. know, the cards in my hand. I go ahead and use sanitizer Keep on my it card. out of my wallet. So Definitely. far, it's not affecting the chip or the strip. So, so far. But who's, how many of us have the, what Greg was talking about, where you, you're going to pay via Bluetooth or the near NFR, whatever that N is. NFC. Oh, yeah. NFC. And then you put it near to the reader. And then you look in the reader or you look in the camera of the phone, but you're wearing a mask and it has no idea who you are. They got to bring yeah. back the thumbprint. They have to bring back the thumbprint. Yeah. You talk Thank to... goodness I have the old phone. Oh, you do with the thumbprint? <laughs> oh, that's great. So those are just some of the things that But are... Bob, this brings up a good point. And I, I hate yeah. to bum rush, but, but the, we were just meeting with a town architect, Norton Commons, and he was back from a, a builder's convention yep. uh, recently. And he said the new thing that they're on a conference, the new thing that's coming to homes, mudrooms are gone. They're a thing of the past. What? disinfecting stations so instead of coming oh. in you have a uv mm. box that you put your groceries in your keys and anything a place to put your shoes and it all wow. is a sanitizing room and this is what they're talking about building homes of the future and this is coming directly from one of the top town architects in the i mean this guy flies around the used to go around the country i'm not going to say his name but wow it, it was very uh, interesting to hear what he what they're uh they're they're, they're discussing mudrooms gone sanitized stations are the same. so that's really saying that and it may not be covid19 it may be covid20 or something else that this yeah, is no, here to just stay. for best practices yeah. holy smokes you know i never even thought of that so now greg's building a home that's almost done he'll be in the um the show over at uh norton commons this year home around home, home around 2020 so are you thinking about doing a last minute switch from a mudroom to an we're looking, at, we're looking into a couple of cool things, just some like UV station, things like that, seeing pricing it out, seeing if we can integrate it in the cabinetry or something like that. Something simple. Wow. Um, wow, wow, yeah. Wow. I mean, there's, there's some cool things we're doing like a return air uh, filtration system. We're doing it and uh, we're naming, naming it the Noreen after, uh, yeah, <laughs> after you know, your, my, our mother, your, your wife. My wife. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's wow. pretty cool. But we're doing so we're doing a very health themed house. So we're we're looking at a couple of cool things. We're Where wrapping up here. Any yes, beds yeah. would would be able to you know resurge for that all those UV bulbs and everything. You know. Oh, you're are you? Th I don't know that that's ultraviolet though, oh, right? Is I it? I don't know. I don't think so either. It's killing something. It's it's doing something. <laughs> your, <laughs> your skin cells. It's killing. Yeah, but you could put your phone in there. You could put your groceries in there. Close it up. 
if it was, yeah, you can, in other words, you're saying take the, take the tanning bed, remove the, those lights and put in the ultraviolet lights. And not for human beings, but for other things. For I mean, other stuff, the yeah. yeah. Put your groceries in, your chocolate cakes, if you would. Wait, 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 yeah. you take the UV light and you somehow, you inject that, yeah? Yeah, yeah okay, let's not go there, that's a whole other all right, wrapping up. We look in this coming week. Everybody busy. Things on the book. Obviously, Memorial Day tomorrow. That uh, gives everybody another day off and relaxing. But it, the rest of the week looks like it's going to be crazy. Am I right? Crazy. crazy. It's already getting yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's something. Folks, listen. Good times. Do not hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, again, Brad Lawler, owner of Home Team Inspection Service, 357 <laughs> Kelly Human in for Kevin Dissler over at Pitt and Frank Attorney. See, I got you early there. 895-9900. Uh, Chuck Crosby, the Crosby Law Offices, 499-6360. Lee Harris, Legal Counsel, Limestone Title, 649-7964. And also in for Randy Rocky, who had the night and morning off, uh, Steve Phillips over at Swan Financial at 439 439- Two eight five nine. My son Greg, who I'm thrilled with, he's showing off this snap camera deal. Let's go to YouTube. You find out about that. And you can reach me anytime on my cell phone. You can reach me at three seven six five four eight three. Again, Bob, go to. We are desperately looking for homes to sell because we are selling them. And if you're thinking about it, reach out to me. We can do Zoom, and any of our people can help and talk to you using Zoom or phone or actually in person. If you are thinking about selling your home, we've got a free no obligation booklet. Send me an email, bob at we sell louisville.com, and we will send that out to you. Put selling tips in the subject line. We're out of time. Thank you, folks, for being here. It's always a pleasure. Take care. Be Thank safe, you. everybody. Thanks. We'll see Enjoy you. the week. Thank you. See you next yeah. Sunday on Thank News you. Radio 840 WHAS. All right, so that was our show. That worked out fine. And Stevie did great. I mean, you were right there uh-huh. when you needed to. And, and, this is one of those things where it's an open format. And look at Greg. Oh, my God. Look your grill. Look at the grill on him. Oh, and it sparkles. <laughs> Slanging. It's pretty handy. Slanging. That's impressive. Oh, my God, Greg. That's just too this much. This one was really freaky. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. There are, would you say, literally <laughs> hundreds of these? Yeah, and they keep coming up with new ones. Oh, now he looks like a bunny Man. rabbit. Yeah, cats. Da-da-da-da-da. Yeah. No, the, <laughs> yeah. I saw one that was Kermit the Frog that I had the other night, but I can't find it anymore. Oh, Kermit the Frog. It was a really good Kermit. Oh, there you go. What is this, a cloud? You're a talking cloud? Yeah. That's from Trolls, I think. Yeah, it's it's like the Trolls cloud. Yep. So. Can I give a shout out to Brad? Yeah, go for it. Thank you, Brad, so much for coming to my house. My house is under renovation, which it has been for about eight months now. And so I told Brad, to ignore the huge mess. Didn't see so it. Once it's all done, I'll have to have you all over so that you can see that we don't always live like, um, you know. You're in a uh, hermit, hermit uh, yeah. bedroom. But, <laughs> but, I, but Lee, I have to share something about the visit. Yes. You, you heard I got a little freaked out when I was Uh-oh. in the garage, right? Uh-oh. No, what happened? Did you, he, you, Julian didn't tell you? So I'm looking around, I'm looking in these areas, I'm using an infrared camera, you know, my, my $10,000 toy Uh-oh. here. Uh-huh. And I'm, I'm looking for moisture. You know, we're making sure everything's dry. It had rained earlier in the day. It had rained the day before. Everything is dry. Well, I get this weird anomaly up in the ceiling of the garage. Oh, and I fun. said, and I said, what, what is, what, what is this? And he goes, oh, well, we have radiant heat in our bathroom floors. I said, no, this isn't radiant heat. That's not the pattern. And it was a, it was a, it was a blob that it was a, it was rectangular in shape probably 10 inches long, six, eight inches wide. And yeah, I'm looking at this thing I'm going, what, what is that? And then farther down the wall, there was another round spot. It was about that big around. And so oh. we went upstairs to see, well, Lee wants to make sure that she takes care of her cats. So yeah. she had a, she has a cat heating pad. So when the cats <laughs> lay on it, it, it turns on, it warms up. So I was seeing the heat signature of the heating pad down through the floor and then the other one was where the kitty condo is the cat must have been sitting on the floor That's it right there right next to the oh. to the kitty condo and and i was kitty just condo? i was just picking up the uh the heat imprint <laughs> from the uh the cat's butt 
So <laughs> freak, freaked me out a little bit. I hadn't seen heat signatures like that before. I'm thinking, what kind of electrical problem does she have? Now that's where we keep our severed heads, you know? I know. I <laughs> yeah, do. right. Yeah. Whoa. I wasn't sure. Jeez Louise. So, so it, you know, Lee, you're obviously doing some renovation or improvements. Yes. And then you look at Chuck, who's putting on a mega deck because of all the entertaining he's planning to do. It is. I'm tripling the size of my deck. Are you really? But you're, really at, a, am. you're at a condo, aren't you? It's, uh, it's more like a town home, as it were. Okay. All right. For a condo, you know, 3,000 square feet and uh, a whole lot of back. So you've got the okay. Are you going to have a big outdoor? Uh, I've COVID. got the Mangalitsa ribs uh, that I've got sitting in the refrigerator waiting, refrigerator waiting on Sunday. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah, I need to see some more uh, Instagram posts from. Uh, oh yeah, hey, you know the weird thing is everybody Sherry's been putting them up, and everybody's thinking that Sherry's doing the cooking. Oh, I know better. Like, ah. Does anybody have a green egg that you cook with? Yeah. You have a green egg? Yeah. So do I. That's what the ribs are going on. Oh. So I love my I green I got eggs. the name. Yeah. I, Casey gave me the name of that place I was talking about. So for anybody who knows the Northeast, there's a, it's, some people call them Italian ice, but it's water ice is what right. they, you know, it's from Jersey. There's a guy, he's from Philly. He just <laughs> moved. Uh, I think he moved down recently. And Casey found him, of course, because she's from Jersey, my wife. Um, and uh, on Bardstown Road, neutral area, it's called Philly's Best Desserts. Um, ah. and they've got a food truck and they're opening their brick and mortar. Um, but you can order right now pints of different flavors. We've got upstairs. I tried their root beer and, um, watermelon, both mm. phenomenal. There's a mango and uh, another one that Casey got for her mom's birthday. Um, and the owner's name is Rodney. He's amazing. Um, hand delivered it, uh, out to the hey, car. Where wearing a mask. You it's had me until Philly. I'm oh. from Pittsburgh, you know. You I'm like Jersey. You could say oh, just South Jersey. I didn't you know, know. Whatever. That's good. I'll take My, it. Carry Hill. Nor Noreen, who passed away, was from Pittsburgh as well. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, she was. Yeah. Every time I see Casey in a Penn State shirt, I'm like, oh, like home. Oh. Uh, I so love it. Philly's <laughs> best <laughs> dessert. Yeah. Philly's, Philly's, Philly's best frozen best dessert. dessert. Yeah. And they deliver it to your house? I don't think they deliver yet. I think you just have to drive out towards them to get it. I have to ask Casey. And and they've got a food truck. I think if you follow them on Instagram, they 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 go around different places in Louisville, and it's kind of like one of those things where you fall, you can go to their food truck if they're you know downtown or if they're out. Like, the ice cream man. Whatever. Where where is the brick and mortar opening up, Craig? That's ordering. That's opening up in um, uh, over there. Butchel, Butchel uh, area. Bardstown, off of Bardstown. Yeah. Right? Does anybody yeah. gone to this um, uh, something? Looks like Value Market carries it value oh, yeah. yeah that's awesome has anybody been to this uh, pier 17 on the Hurstbourne that just opened up no no it's, no, it's, no. Yeah, it's just around from the office yeah i've seen it yeah it's right right around the corner we got quite a bit of advertising on Hurstbourne lane i see their signs everywhere what what, what about a, i don't know it's some sort of seafood place it, it's a uh, it they fancy themselves cajun it's more boiled type dinners you know where oh. you boil the the seafood together with some potato and corn and their shtick is an egg. Um, oh. I don't get that, but uh, for my money, uh, right around the corner is Shriji's uh, Vegetarian uh, Indian Street Food. Best place ever. Where, this, where is that? Wow. What am I missing? Where the heck is that? Well, you know where Pier 17 is. Yeah. If you keep, if you keep heading south, um, yeah. you're going to uh, have Gigi's Cupcakes. Then you're gonna have Mike's uh, uh, the sub shop. There's uh, also a computer Mike's. store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A then there's Jersey Mike's, and yeah. then right next to that is Shriji's, uh, and it's uh, Indian street food. Wow! Uh, you'll go in. Awesome. And you just point at something. I, I have no idea what it is, and uh, I'm always happy. That sounds uh, delicious. You know, yeah, yeah, you have me at Indian street food. <laughs> This is, we should be doing our show live from these places. Yeah. And boy, yeah. that would be very cool. <laughs> now yeah. we're talking. <laughs> yeah, but Bob, you like, uh, you like Shalimar. Uh, yeah. This place okay. over there, yeah. it, it, it blows Shalimar out of the water. Yeah, at a town. Wow. Yeah. But Shalimar has a buffet. This doesn't have a buffet. Right? That's true. That's yeah. true. It's not a buffet, but uh, uh, oh, I've uh, never been, never been uh, uh, let down. Whose dog is going crazy? 
<laughs> that would be mine. Yeah, I got that three of them, and two of them think it's time to bark. <laughs> oh, that's okay. They were good during the show. This is just Bob a... come in. They're two massive horses. Oh, they they're big dogs. Oh my god. Well, yeah. Uh, I want to say. I want to give. I want to say. Um, if you're, if you want to cook something at home, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, River House. I don't yes. know if they're just trying to get rid of their inventory or what. Yeah. But they've turned it into a grocery. Yeah, and a lot of places got, are doing yeah, that. Yeah, they they're selling crab legs and uh -oh. uh, Angus burgers. They're selling. You had everything. Bob, you had Bob at crab. They yeah, yeah they've yeah. been doing yeah. that. They've been doing that for the last two months, Lee. Yeah. I've gotten quite a few take home meals oh. uh, from yeah. there and picked up really grocery good. stuff. And the people there are just phenomenal. I mean, just yeah, it's really really good. We we yeah. got it on Sunday, I think, and we're still eating it. I mean, mm -hmm. we've got a it's ton like of stuff. Ton of food. A ton. Yeah. So, do you all live near River House? I well, don't. I mean, in the I live I live like in Cherokee Gardens, so just down Zorn it's Avenue. It's Louisville. Everyone lives close. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm twenty like, minutes yeah. away. Yeah. I'm five <laughs> minutes away from them. I mean, that's how close. Well, if those of you who've been to the house, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I Bob. Guess. I mean, you could get there in two minutes. Yeah, no, I know. I, I just that's ordered just out from uh, Elmo Pound down the street. The oh yeah, right. Just just look out. online. I mean, it's snow. I mean, you can get a. Yeah, no I know. Crabs for like twelve dollars and toilet yeah. paper and hand sanitizer. Toilet paper? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All the Cisco <laughs> products, all, <Yeah>. everything. <laughs> Look at That's Kelly cool Human with know. the toilet yeah. paper entry. Good. I have three <laughs> sons. I have three little boys. How so, old are your kids? We don't know that. How old are you? Oh yeah, I've got a thirteen-year-old, oh, a ten-year-old, and a six-year-old in four days. Wow! Ooh. Happy wow. birthday to him. And Steve, how about you? How many? You got any kids other than dogs that bark? No, just the little furry ones. That's all I got. <laughs> the four-legged versions. <laughs> well, the good news is they don't need toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, that's helpful too. Yeah, they do other things, but the toilet paper's all mine. There you go. You're <laughs> lucky. You're a lucky guy. All right, gang. Let, let's call it a wrap, and uh, I'll we'll see you next. Uh, those of you who are going to be there next um, Wednesday, and have a great <sighs> Memorial Day weekend. That's Thank you great. all. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Take care. Thank Stay you. safe. All right. All right. See you later. Thank you. See y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.